Shalom, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. For the problems you want to give our praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakat Wadash. Shalom to the Apostle of the Elders, Greg Middleton. And so I'll be part of the teaching more truth. So you want to say Shalom. Shalom. All right, we're um, uh, uh, Columbus and Cleveland, um, elder brother. Hey, Shalom, Michelle. All right. And, uh, uh, and now, all right, so we're here uh, just, you know, on the way to camp doing the transit. We were just talking about um, lightning, you know. We're like, man, shit, good, you know, that's a good topic. He's all, you know, he's all from heaven, man. All right, we're just going to talk about, you um, uh, 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 the devil coming down with great wrath, mm-hmm. only had a short time. Yep, yep. Job said the child be under the wicked, but for a moment. Yep. You know, it's short. It's short. You know, and we got to start being positive. Cause yeah. If his reign is short and his time is short, so is our captivity. It just feels like this. Mm-hmm. All right, but this shit is short. All right, if you don't believe our captivity getting closer uh, up, up to an end, well, look at how quick the kingdom is coming to an end. How about that? I'm thinking about that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But uh, this one, uh, our brother quoted though, this is Luke 10 and um, 18. Then he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. And we, when you look at that, see, and, and the Christ, Christians have the, the, the uh, word Satan, the word devil all jacked up and twisted, man. Satan uh, just means the adversary of the Most High, one who, who opposes the Most High. And there is a, a, a physical counterpart, okay? And the physical counterpart of Satan, the physical counterpart of the devil is Esau Edom, which is the biblical name of the so-called white man. All right, so so Yahweh Shah saw, right? He was because why? Because he was walking the Roman Empire in the in the Roman Empire, and we're living in the revival of the Roman Empire. The the, the, the seventh head that was wounded to death but was healed. All right, so the 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 explanation of of uh, you know the scripture that we're, we're we're portraying is we see Esau's kingdom coming to an end quickly, man. Okay, because the, 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 the scripture says that the he did that real quick, that yeah. the uh, the Lord has set a bound that he cannot pass. Yeah. Because everything, every kingdom uh, is is given a, a certain amount of time. The Babylonian captivity was a, uh, about seventy years, right? You had the uh, the Egyptian captivity for four hundred and twenty years, you know. So it's, it's all it's all about the the, the certain uh, uh, level of, of punishment that the Lord sees fit, and we're coming to our end right now. And Esau's kingdom. What you guys want? Yeah, Psalm 104. And, um, and now it's a lot of set of bounds that they may not pass. That one? Was the one? Uh, I think it's. You don't know if it was Psalm or was it in No, I think it's probably Psalms. It's probably Psalms. It's not a set of bounds that they may not pass over. No, I think it's right. a Job. I think it's a Job. Yeah, Joe kind of Job, yeah. Um, Yeah, kind of to, like search a bound and pass. A bound. Yeah, bound. Talking, yeah, kind, of, kind. Of. So that's what it is, man. You know, saying the Lord has set each kingdom up uh, to 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 rule for a certain specific time, and that's why it says in uh, in First Maccabees, the second chapter, uh, that 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 what nation have not gotten a part of her spoils and um and and gotten over rich. All right. You got it. Yep, okay. Kind, kind. So it was bounds. Mm. Um, uh, Joel 14 and 5 is a scene in the day yeah, yep, yep. determined. Determined. The number uh, of. Uh, already predestinated. You know what I'm saying? So so Esau's uh, rulership is already uh, uh, pre written, prescribed. You guys want? The scene in his days are determined. The number of his months are with thee. Mm-hmm. God has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. You want to find on it? You know, everybody has a um, 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 a cutoff switch, mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. All right, but one thing that we know that the uh, cutoff switch is is that it never goes past a, a certain amount. All right, even they look, they look at and they try to compare the Roman Empire with, with America, but the similarity is not, it's only the infrastructure, but but the um the fall of it was um um uh, uh economic fall, mm-hmm. you know. Spreading themselves too thin, the money not work uh, worth anything. Yep. Um, I was watching a video the other day on the way to work, and they said, um, 
um, um, um, every civilization that based their money on fiat currency failed. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so it just goes to show that you're not going to get past fiat currency because no one ever has. Yep, yep. You know? Mm -hmm. And just like how now we're seeing that the fall of Esau is coming because of what? All right? His, his currency, all right? It's like trying to try to go switch to digital, but that's not going to work. Mm -hmm. You know, he said, I mean, Joe, what? He says that he, um, 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 uh, uh, we about to fill the table. Yep, yep. Joe 20. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, so he's only going to get so far. Got it. And you can uh, get that in Joe, too. Uh, he dis disappointed if the device is yeah. crafty. Yep. You know, because, uh, uh, because why? Because Esau is going to have to uh, come down with great wrath, like the elder had brought out that scripture, you know, because it's, it's, uh, it's, it's his enterprise is, is going to be disappointed by Yahweh Bashmiel shot. And it's already starting with the mouth of the prophets, man. You know, and that's how that's how this, we're witnessing the great fall, man, of, of of the greatest empire that the Lord uh, had a, had allowed to rule, man. Okay, you got, you got that. Job five and twelve. Mm -hmm. He just appointed the devices of the crafty, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. And who's crafty? When you look up uh, what uh, what the definition of the serpent is, um, the, the car, it was uh, I was like it, the posh, the kosh shalaki. It was, uh, you know, crafty, sly, cunning. You know what I'm saying? That's the spirit of Esau, man. So he, so the Lord is going to uh, disappoint his, uh, his, his plans, man, because the, uh, the device is going to a, 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 a wicked plan, okay, or an evil plan, an evil plot. So the Lord is, is, is shortening. You know, the scriptures talk about that. The Lord is shortening the days, man. That's how. That's why Esau is falling so fast. But the Lord is shortening the days for the elect's sake. You know. Kind, kind. In Job twenty and five, it says that the triumphant of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. Mm -hmm. You know, just like that light is going, it's quick. All right, it's short. All right, because that bound is short. All right, it just seems like you know, it, it just seems, hey, but he's not getting any further. Like what have you done? Like where's the new technology? Yeah, at? yeah, yeah. You know. What are the things that make our lives easier? Mm -hmm. It's not going to be that chip. You know? Yeah. Yeah, and I say chip on my channel, man. You know? It ain't going to be the MOTB, the Karagma. All right? That's you, how he's all going to trick you, man. Kind, kind. You know? Kind. And you get uh, uh, Psalms 37, Bob Kishan? Yep. Uh, Psalms 37. You know, it's going to talk about that the wicked shall be, uh, shall not be. He shall, uh, he shall not see him. Like thirty-seven and uh, like twenty. It should be kind of early in the chapter. Early, yeah, kind of. Twenty, twenty is all. Keep going uh, up, probably like like verse eight. Eight, yeah, kind of. Because the wicked is only going to be here for a, a short moment, man. Oh yeah, I got it. Yeah, kind of, kind of. You know, Psalm thirty, sorry, nine. Kind of. Psalm thirty-seven and nine. For evildoers shall be cut off, mm. but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Yep. All right. Oh, you got it. And then what? It, and what does cut off mean? The, the scripture says that it's uh, about uh, talks about a man's posterity. You know his seed line. That's why it says in Isaiah the fourteenth chapter that uh, you know prepare slaughter. You know for for uh, for, for his children. You know what I'm saying? Because Esau's. It says that 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 don't be no more nephew. I was just, just thinking it. Yeah, I'm just kinda, thinking it. I was just thinking it. You want to grab that after you know you finish that, and then yeah. we close out with that one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But Esau's Esau's whole lineage is going to get cut off, man. You know, you are going to save save uh, the the women. You know what I'm saying for uh, for uh, concubines because they're going to pr produce Israelite children. You know, but the man, any anyone that that pisses against the wall is going is going to get their head chopped off, man. Right? No, that's all good. That's good. No, that's all good. No, yeah, yeah, no, 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 that's a good scripture. That nephew one. Yeah, kind of, kind of. Verse 10 in Psalm 37. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. And and, and when, you, when you look at that phrase, a little while, it means a, a short span, mm -hmm. a short period of time. You see, so so the Lord has only given Esau a short period of time before he, he, he flatlines, man. You know, his heart is beating right now. But you know how, how quick you can flatline? Just with a slap of a finger. And it's a weak beat, too. Mm, yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. You know? Yep. 
you seen a picture of Uncle Sam with the um um with the panels on his chest on that little meme. Oh, God, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? God. And the red, white, and blue. Mm-hmm. You know. You know what? Uh, 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 um, on the other hill, battle line, she was, was going to be healed. Mm-hmm. Mm. You know. Yeah. You know, she she on her way out. God. This is um, um for yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. They that shall diligently consider a place, and it shall not be. Because because what? Because look, because this is. The scripture says that is this the man that made the whole earth tremble? Mm-hmm. You see, yeah. then all of a sudden he's he's not going to be nowhere to be found, man. That's right. He's going to be uh, uh uh. The scripture says that that worm shall cover thee. Mm-hmm. You see, he's going to fall from 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 the heavens, you know, all the way down to, to uh uh the uh, uh a shameful spot, man. Mm-hmm. You know, a shameful place. Right, man. Because I was talking about removing the proud. Mm-hmm. You know, the mean man. You know. Mm-hmm. You know, hey, you saw the mean motherfucker, man. Dying. He said he ruled the nations in anger. That's right. You know, take peace from the earth. Yep, yep. Can't rest till he calls son to fall. I mean, mm-hmm. goddamn, what kind of person is that? Got it. <laughs> you know? Got it. Job 18, and, um, yep, this is a good one. We didn't know this. Get really, just, oh, Job no, no, 18 go hard. Mm-hmm. It says, I'm going to start at 16. It says, the roots shall be dried up. Uh, beneath and above shall the branch be cut off, and your member shall perish from the earth, and he shall have no name in the street. Mm. He, sh- he shall be driven from light into darkness and chased out of the world. He shall neither have son nor nephew among his people, nor any remaining in his dwellings. They that come after him shall be astonished at his days, as they went before were affrighted. Surely such are the dwellings of the wicked, and this is the place of him that knoweth not the most high. Mm. Because what because what Obadiah prophesied, he said that 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 uh that Jacob shall be a fire and Joseph a flame and Esau for stubble, man. And and what is it? Because the Lord spoke it, bro. Right. You know what I mean? That's right, man. You know, he says those who come after him are gonna be astounded at him, and then uh, um uh, and before they were afraid, as you, as you said, the great wrath that ruined them in a continuation of ruining yep, yep. anger, kind. the wicked like the troubled sea where they cannot rest, mm-hmm. the cause of mire and dirt. This, this dude is fucking diabolical, so the brothers say. <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, kind of. You know, but the Lord going to change this motherfucker, yep. though, bro. Yeah. You know? Kind of. That's good. Man, we had camp, right? So, you know, um, 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 I pray the Lord, uh, turn on the face and protect the brother where we're going to camp today. Um, Probably one of the nicer days of our first camp of the year, kind of, right? It was kind of like nice last week. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was a little bit dealing with the weather, you yeah. know what I mean? Give us a little break. Right. You know? So pray for the brother. Let's go to camp. We all have a good camp. And, uh, shalom. 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 Y'all about to try to brush off. Shalom.